This is one of the old TRVs and I'm taking that off now. Heating's on. You get this collar at the bottom, undo it, and that comes off. This valve pushes up and down, down to close and open to let the water flow through. What we need to do is work out which of these fit on here and then allow the main body of the unit to also go on because this won't fit on there, it's too loose. It won't fit. Now, there's a collar there that will fit over the top, but it comes off. So what I do is put a small amount of glue just on this bit around here, not over the valve, not over any of the bolts, but just over around here and epoxy to hold this in place. Aerodite or something similar. The principle is this goes over the top and this pushes up and down here. To turn it off you see this unit in here emerges Likewise, other way, let's turn it all the way to the top, 11, 13, I think it goes up to 35, but, uh, what's that back in, eventually. Okay, then that recesses. Move that aside. So we get the we can get the epoxy. And just gently put a tiny bit around there. Oop, in the back. Little bit of epoxy down here. Do not a mouth breathing at the moment. Taking care not to go over the valve. Just got to be enough to hold it in place. It's not sitting in front of any of the mechanics, but because it's an old valve, you know, I don't want to have to get a plumber out to change the TRV body or the the body of the valve to something more modern because all I need to do is stick this more modern thread on top. And this is basically just an aerodite type thing. You can use any epoxy resin from the range or B&Q or Halfords. And then you let that go off. That's gonna take a few hours to go off. Right then, that's been about two hours. The epoxy's hard enough now. That's pressing down. If you imagine you press that down, that's the sort of pressure that's gonna to need to pull that and it's going to need to resist. So, put the battery, I've taken the battery cover off, LA should appear. Yep, there it is, LA. Now, that's the learning for the, the plunger. So, you take your battery out, put it back in, LA appears, quick look at the instructions. Press the rotation button, the screen will display LA, the controller starts to match the valve stroke and the initial setting will be entered after the match. Simple as that I think. LA. Is that it? I mean the picture says press for 30 seconds. So what happens if I press for, th if I do that again, Ooh. take that off, take the battery out. 
put the battery back in and press for 30 seconds oh see, oh no don't know what that means LC. Doesn't mention LC, so loosen it, rotate the battery around, off, and connect. Still LC. <gasps> That's connected to Zigbee. That's in heating mode, that means the valve's open. So if I was to turn it down to off, I think the heating mode goes off. Yes, there you go. So then turn it on, all the way to the top, because everyone wants their house at 35 degrees centigrade. Heating mode on. So that indicator there is that the valve's open. Let's close this back down. And there we have it, I think.